Hello and welcome to Shampoo and Booze. This is episode number 79. We are looking at properties. We are critiquing them, giving them design advice, giving them listing advice. You can see our videos on YouTube. You should subscribe. We have over 800 subscribers. We would love to get to 1,000. Woohoo! Let's get subscribe. up to 1,000. Why not? A thousand's a good number. Okay. So today, as promised, we are looking at one of my Airbnbs because I would love to have a second set of eyes or hundreds of sets of eyes to look at my photos because I think I might want to retake photos uh, or I am interested in getting feedback. I think it's important to take a first set, do your best. I did my best. Um, I used my nicest camera, my nicest lens, tried to have the best lighting possible. Um, but I would love to hear what Ashley thinks and we can talk about it. So Yay. let's check out my newest rental. It is an apartment in a mixed use building and let's look at it. Jay and I bought a building on Main Street. Uh, it's a mixed-use building. The top floor is three-bedroom apartment. It's 1,400 square feet, so it's a pretty good size. That's bigger than my house, so it's not a bad size. Um, and we completely got renovated it. It took a year, and so the top floor is done. The bottom floor that's going to be commercial, that's going to happen later, and we can talk about that later, but that's that's a continuous project. But um, right now this this is available people can rent it so now we we always talk about this airbnb is funny on the desktop where it does this kind of gallery view so <laughs> i think i had like four different conversations with you and mom and jay and like other hosts where i'm like what should be my first photo i don't know it's like i need a first photo and then i need like a good variety of other things to show if you're on the website and you it's it's not just like here's the front door and the hallway and the you know like for the first photo so right now you can see we chose the um the living room the living room's huge so there's two different sitting areas so it was hard to decide what angle but so it's living room um dining room kitchen the front of the building and a bedroom yeah, so we, we chose this one because it had a plant and it's got kind of like you can see the chandelier a little bit and you can see sort of a brass in the other, you know, plant and a little bit of color. So it was like, okay, yep. that it's just hard. I mean, look, I, I feel for other hosts where you're like, it's hard to take angles of, <laughs> of rooms. I mean, you're like when you're in person you're like i can see over here and over here like it's a great you know 360 view but here you're like you can just see this you know i just wanted to point out like this is a really good example something that we talk about a lot is like can you sort of see yourself like moving through the space based on the pictures and here the way you have it is i see there's this living room and then there's this little corner of a table with curtains and then I see the table and curtains in the next photo and then I can see the kitchen in that photo and then there's another picture of the kitchen so I feel like this is kind of a cool way to see a little spread of the apartment very quickly and I like that you also include a bedroom and in the whole building so I I would say on the outset they're pretty good Okay, so this is a little bit wider than they were showing. Um, Airbnb loves to crop your photos. Yes, so <laughs> I'm always trying to take wider photos because they like smush them down. Um, but I, so I have a hard time with color. Like I never put color on the walls. So we try to put color in lots of other places, uh, but not too crazy, but you know, reds, I obviously love reds and maroons and little pops of blue here and there. So that's what we try to do here. I love it, it's beautiful. So just like you said, we're doing a little walkthrough here and then we're gonna go back because 
we need to like show all the bedrooms and stuff. So, but, I, but I wanted people, it's like, I wanted people to see the flavor of what we were offering where it's like, these are your hangout spots. Like the bedrooms are important, but these are the sort of group areas I kind of wanted to highlight first. So I just, before we move on from this picture, I, you know, we're always talking about having like a beverage station and this is such a beautiful beverage station. There's like, I can see there's coffee, there's hot water for tea. There's a whole mini fridge for beverages. It's almost like a bar setup. I mean, it's really beautiful. I can even see you have hanging the little like you know, bottle openers. So I, I feel invited to partake in a beverage. Oh, good. <laughs> what kind of beverage? Many different kinds. Anything you want. Um, you just have to bring them. <laughs> <laughs> they are not provided. Um, so let's talk about this beverage station for a second, because the kitchen is very small in this apartment. And we were having a hard time where we were like, you can see that fridge. It's totally a European style fridge. And that's okay. We have another at the other rental. Our second rental has a European style fridge just like this. And it's fine. No one's had a problem with it. But we were like, we want to extend the kitchen. Um, we were going to knock that wall down, but we needed a place for the oven. And it was like, I can't knock this wall down. So let's extend the kitchen into the dining room. People are going to be making coffee, making you know cocktails, having wine. And they can do that outside the kitchen. Like they don't need to be in the kitchen to do that. So move the kitchen to another area, let people who are cooking be in the tiny kitchen and just, you know, have this there. I would say this is a good opportunity in your description because here you say dining room overlooking Hawksbell Creek. You could say, because you guys offer coffee and tea, right? You yeah. have that. So you could say, you know, beverage station, coffee and tea always provided, you know, bring your own creamer or something or what, you know, whatever the communication is. I think this is a good moment to do that. If, unless you have more pictures of the coffee station. Um, we do provide creamer. Uh, nice. But yes, I think you're right that I should add that because um, I do have a picture of the bar by itself. But if people, if this is the second photo, I should say that right away. Yeah. It's um, like, this is yeah. the moment, you know, if you lose them 10 pictures right. from now, like they might not read that. Right. Like, let's say it here. That's like, that's great advice. I'm going to do that. Okay. This is the front of the building. Um, I just wanted to make it obviously very clear, like you're, and I, maybe in the caption, I need to be like upstairs upstairs apartment or something so people aren't like oh we're staying down in the storefront <laughs> Which, I totally agree I think it should say you know upstairs apartment views of the Hawksbill River or you know views of downtown and the Hawksbill River or something like that yep I think that's a really good idea. or and you could even say something like entrance to the right of the building or something just to be like you're staying upstairs yep, yeah right Okay, I just looked at this caption the other day and I was like, that's all we said. <laughs> We're like, kitchen, I don't know what else to say. You're like, yeah, in the end. <laughs> also, okay. like, what a perfect thing that happens when you're getting an apartment up and going. It's like, you know, yeah. of all of the Airbnbs that we've reviewed, sometimes you just need to get the listing up, you know, like, uh, the last couple we've reviewed, you know, people are like, I was just getting a listing up. So this is, <laughs> this is what happens. Yeah. So actually, so I was looking at this the other day, cause I was actually putting our listing on TripAdvisor. Um, we have it on HomeAway, Airbnb and TripAdvisor. And I was basically just going through and being like, okay, I'm doing the exact same listing. And I looked at this and I was like, that's all we said. I mean, we got renovated the kitchen. Like that brick wall was not there. I mean, the brick wall was there. It just had like plaster over it, you know, inch by inch, we cleaned that wall. And so I kind of, you know, we put those shelves up, brand new oven. Uh, I need to be like, you know, brand new kitchen. Brand new appliances. Everything's new. Okay. So now we're in the bedrooms. Um, the bedrooms are tiny. 
there was one point where we thought that we weren't going to be able to get queen beds in because the doors were hitting them. <laughs> it's like, it was one of those times where you're like, can we even fit beds in here? <laughs> They're gorgeous. Like, this is such a cute bedroom. It overlooks the creek. Like, I always think people are going to, this is actually a full, it's not a queen. Um, mm -hmm. it, because it, it, honestly, a queen, I was like, it, this bedroom's so small. So I would say that in your description. Say that it's a, tw uh, that that's it's bedroom number one, like bed. full bed, you yeah. know, da, da, da. Yes. Like, I don't know if there's like a closet or something in there, but your bedroom one description could say, you know, I don't know what their little legs of something in there. Yeah. So it's oh, the, oh, oh, there's another picture. Um, <laughs> you're like, what's, I'm what's like, going on? What are their <laughs> legs? What are these legs? Um, yeah. So that's great advice. Yes. I need to do that. So this is the other side of the bedroom. Oh, that's um, great. I do need to retake photos of this now that I think about it. And look, like I look at a photo like this and I just think, it's so minimal. Like it, it feels really empty to me, but at the same time, those hooks and that luggage rack are there for people just to put their stuff. You know, I can't put artwork there. It's just a practical wall. It doesn't feel minimal to me. You've got pattern, you have a curtain, you've yeah. got rugs, you have nice bedspreads. I see what you're saying, but the rooms are so small that I don't know you wouldn't need to fit anything else in there. Yeah. This was my original first photo. I remember this. And there's a lot going on here. It's a big living room. It's mm -hmm. like a double living room. It's weird. I've never yes. seen a living room this big. And we're just kind of like, there's all these different seating areas as you can see. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, I feel like, you know, when we talked through this a long time ago, it was like how to make little areas and nooks that feel comfortable and inviting, but not just like busy. Right. Okay. So this this wall looks really blank to me, but I feel like I need artwork above the TV. Ooh, but I have an idea. Okay. So um, that bookshelf yeah. could actually go on the TV wall. Like flip it. Yeah, because the window and the couch, like that wall doesn't necessarily need it. But if yeah. you've got the space for it, I feel like visually there's plenty of space on that wall for that bookcase to go. So right flip next it to the television. Next to the television on the right. Yep. So then you you think I wouldn't need artwork? Not necessarily. What you could do is you could switch out a couple of those shelves for objects. Yeah. Yeah. So finding maybe one other object that goes on, you know, a middle or lower shelf. Okay. That kind of breaks, breaks up the, the yeah. book, book situation. Yeah. That's a really good idea. So it's interesting. This picture to me reads so much better for some reason than the one that was like two pictures ago. Yeah. Just in terms of how the room is actually set up, there's something about what's going on in the carpet that feels like off to me. It's like you have this big organizing factor of the rug and then it feels like there's nothing anchored on the rug. It all feels sort of like it's moving around. It could move anywhere, which is sort of how you designed it, which is fine. But it's like, I almost want there to be some kind of like organizing principle. You know, it's like, I want to go into that room and I want to like line up those like poofs with the chair, you know, or something. Like I want there to be some kind of like order to the chaos in the middle. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a tough room where now, like I said, mostly those, those brown rattan um, chairs are usually both facing the TV. 
So there's a little more room in the middle to sort of walk between the sitting areas uh, in general. So maybe what I need to do is see how that's set up and take a photo with it set up like that, where it's like right now how you're looking at it, the rattan chairs are like this, but you know, one's facing one area, one's facing another area. But in real life, how it's used is most people put the two brown chairs to watch the TV. Yeah. And I kind so, of just want them that way. Right. And maybe that's just mentally what makes sense, you know, in a photo. Because it well. just, it feels like there's one chair this way, one chair that way. It's kind of like you could go either way. But I feel like what you're saying of like people don't really use it that way. Yeah. Makes me feel like there's something weird about what's happening in the middle of the rug, you know? Like I'm yep. like, what's happening here? Right. So I think if you organized it around like how people are using the space, I think it would feel a little bit more grounded, anchored, like this is how the space is meant to be used. Okay. I just wanted to, yeah, see all the angles, but I mean, it's gorgeous. I love this room. And yeah, I, I love how playful you are with all of your like patterns and colors and shapes. Like you have those cute little felted pillows. Those are adorable. I love those. I like take a nap with one. Yeah. I love those pillows. I think they look great. Um, yeah, we try, we try to be playful with the color, but not too clashy. Like I get nervous about color, but I, I like that red plaid. Like I know that's weird with the rug, but I'm like, I like it. I think it looks cute. It looks cozy. Okay. So we're 10 photos in and here's the bar. So, um, yeah. And obviously we, we were in a hurry and I don't see anything about coffee or tea. Mm -hmm. like coffee yeah, that would be a good place to reiterate some of that. Yeah, because we have coffee. We have like three different kinds of tea. I have powdered creamer and real cream in the fridge for people. So that yeah. is so good for people to know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I like assume all these things, and mm -hmm. I'm tell I'm telling people all the time to do it. But yeah, yeah. I think the captions are. Because we've been to Airbnbs, right, that like look amazing in photographs, but when you get there, you kind of feel like they don't yeah. have enough sugar, you right. know? So to just like, you guys are so over the top with your hosting that like, I feel like you have to highlight some of that. Yeah, I think, I think that's missing. I think you're right. We were in a hurry. We were like, get this thing up. But now, you know, it is a slow season right now. It's about to be January. So I'm like, I think I can take a little time and like add some text here. That's why we're doing this. Yeah, exactly. Um, so this is the other side of the kitchen. And it, it's tough. I want the two kitchen photos to be together. But then that would mess up the order of the front gallery. So I don't, but I don't think it's necessary. I, I think like, they're going to get to the kitchen. It's totally fine. Yeah. But it's great. I mean, I feel like everything is here that you would need to cook. I don't know if there are like cooking things, like if there's like a pan or a thing that you would like put a, I don't know, like how extensively can people cook? I feel like it would be a good question to yeah. answer somewhere. Like okay. we have a roasting pan or we yeah. don't have a roasting pan, you know, or whatever. Like how extensive is this? Or is this much more like you can heat up, you know, leftovers? And that's Yeah, I think so in one of our, I think both of our other listings, I'm like, you can make toast or Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. You can do both. Actually, people did make Thanksgiving dinner here the other, the other uh, week. So um, yeah, that's usually how I like to describe it. You can make coffee or you can make, you know, a full whatever. Yeah, right. So yeah, say something like that. That would be helpful. Yeah, that's smart. Okay, this is the other bedroom. It is a queen bed, so I, need I love to that B print so much. I love the B print. It's IKEA. I don't know what year it is. Like the great thing about IKEA fabric prints is they'll make them one year and then they're gone, which is good and bad. But like, who's gonna remember that that's IKEA? So I just use it everywhere. I I, I just everybody who's listening and watching right now, take note. Because you sewed it on a sewing machine and tacked it with gold tacks, and it looks like amazing. 
I love that. So piece. it doesn't have to be high end. It doesn't right. have to be expensive. It doesn't have to all come from West Elm. Exactly. Except for when you find it on the street. <laughs> Except when you walk into West Elm and it's really cheap. hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I also like, I love those little tiny LED lamps. Yes, those are like, great. Yeah. And um, like, obviously I can see their outlets and there's Kleenex and, you know, it would be good to know what size this bed is. Obviously it, I can tell it's not a queen. It is a queen. Oh, it is a queen. It's not a full, it's a queen. Wow. It, that's why honestly, you see how small those bedside tables are? Yeah. Those are the smallest like side tables I could find at Ikea. Boom. And really like you cannot have a bed without bedside tables. You have to have bedside tables. You have to. You really do. It's like because you need like, somewhere to put your cell phone, your glass of water, your like your tissues, movies, you there. know, like whatever you're going to need. Look, we were at a Airbnb. I think we talked about it in the past. We were at this like five million dollar mansion in Brooklyn for a work trip. There were no outlets in our bedroom. There was one outlet, and there was something wrong with it. Where like you'd plug your phone in, and like if you even touched the outlet, it would just fall out. Like it didn't have like clamps on the inside. It was like this really old outlet from like the forties, which I'm like I really don't want to plug my phone into this, but. You know, and, and, and I'm like searching the house to plug my phone in overnight. <laughs> so, so that's a good segue to one of my friends was staying in this apartment. It was one of the times where it's like, test out the apartment or whatever. And she was like, you need a charging station. And you can buy these charging stations at, uh, on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And it comes with like six different plugs. Or it just has a USB. So that situation that you were having where you're like, there's no plug by the bed. There's no USB plug in the wall or whatever. Like a lot of newer ho hotels yes. that have like renovated, they'll have a lamp with plugs exactly. and USB plugs. Now. Exactly. Thank and that's what I was looking for. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so if you get a bedside lamp and it has a USB plug in it, awesome. Um, or if you get what I was talking about, the little like extension plugs that you, we get the, they have them at Walmart. They're these nice looking like braided black and white, you know, cloth braided things. And then it's got like a little black, like three, three plug thing. Just any, look, if you can have lots of types of plugs, it's just these days with families where like every kid has an iPad and a phone and a computer. It's like, you need all kinds of plugs. So yes. We can link to that charging station. Yeah, it's great. We got them for every um, for every house. They're like twenty bucks. I kind of want this picture as your bedroom picture in the beginning, instead of like a bed. This is a really good picture. I like this picture. It shows the door detail, which is gorgeous. It yep. has a beautiful rug. I know there's a bed there. I don't know. That's true. I really I like this picture. I try to move it. Yeah, it's funny. It's like you want to show a bedroom, but do you really need to show like the expanse of like the duvet cover? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I like I'm gonna, I'm gonna question that. I like <laughs> I like this picture too a lot. Actually, it I love feels that artwork. Very, very welcoming. And Good. It's okay. Like, okay, this is a bedroom. Great. Yep, you're walking in. You're walking in that mm -hmm. door. Okay, so this room is so small that I bought these mattresses. They ended up being uh, twin XLs. So they're like 10 inches longer than regular twins, which I did not know at the time. So this is, this is like a month or less before we're done. It was like two weeks before we were done. And we were like, we have to build a bunk bed. We could have just bought a bunk bed, but um, I like really sturdy, big, yeah, I Open like this. I adult. think it's, yeah, I mean, it. I would say with your description, if you say Lux adult extra long twin bunk beds, okay, because I wouldn't necessarily know what XL, XL meant. It's extra long. Like, what does that mean? Is that bigger than a twin? You yeah, know, it's extra long. Um, but I, yeah, I, I like your description. It's got some humor in it. I think this is a great picture. Okay, good. I'll, I'll add that. But, um, so headboard shelves are super important because they have a light 
and they have a charging station and one of them now has a white noise machine. So you're yeah, like, you guys have thought of everything. Yeah. And you should say that in your description. Okay. I'm going to, I should say that in this. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's like right you're... here. Right. Okay. Because look, I, like we said, we've stayed in places where you're like, there's no place to put my book or my phone and there's no light. There's literally no light. <laughs> it's just like, no. Oh. So we get obsessed with stuff like that. But yeah, I like your idea of adding stuff to the captions. It's like, duh. I think, you know, this whole rule of like, uh, don't take so many pictures, but like sometimes you can't get it all in two pictures or even one picture. So yeah. I think it's okay. As long as you're getting more information, it's not just like a flower vase. Okay. Bathroom photos are super hard to take. This is but a good one though. I tried to do good angles. Where I love your little first aid kit. It feels so Scandinavian and adorable town. Yep. So I bought this one on, uh, it's called Kirk, Kirkerland. You can also find it on Amazon, but I think I had to buy it directly on their website. So they make one too. And um, so it's a little bit smaller, but that's fine because the bathroom's small. But you should always have a first aid kit um, that's in a place that people see it. And I like to hang it on the wall kind of as artwork. So if it looks cool, so yeah, so we totally rebuilt the shower and re-tiled it and I put that window in there. And, oh, it's gorgeous. You know, it's so hard to take that photo. You're like, and literally I'm like, shower. It's like so ridiculous. It looks great though. And I, I do, I think like I would say so many of these pictures would just help having a more yeah. description because you guys put so much work into it and you offer so many amenities. Yeah, so I need to do a better job of that. Um, Built-in bathroom storage, just so people can put their stuff. Look, people have lots of bathroom stuff. So see the shelves next to the um, next to the mirror, and then actually to the left of the toilet, there's like a cubby with shelves, which you can't see. But I need to say that, like, there's there's room for you to put your stuff, basically. Um, I've gone into rentals when there people are like, oh, something's wrong with the toilet and like their stuff is everywhere. <laughs> so it's good to be able to give people spaces for that. I took a picture of the entryway. Sometimes I'm like, do I need to show this? But it's got a gorgeous rug. We hand built that shelf. We put a brand new door in there. We exposed the brick. Um, so I was like, I'm going to show it. It's beautiful. Definitely. I like having entryway pictures. Um, so I photoshopped a little layout so people know what the layout is. It's hard to tell with photos. It's like, where, what bedrooms, where, how big does it look? You can see how big the living room is. It's huge. So I always think this is a good idea. And if you don't know Photoshop or whatever, just hand, you know, get a ruler and a Sharpie and do a little hand drawing. I think it's worth it. The only confusing part about this, like, I think you could just say this uh, in both this and the front building picture is just you, the entries on the side, but you have to go upstairs. Like put some stairs there. Yeah. And that you enter from main street through a gate, you know, like that kind okay. of detail stuff, because if you were going back to be like, how do we get in? Or like, where, right. what should we be looking for? You right. know, that's a great, that's great advice. Like there are certain places that people are coming to my area for these things mm -hmm, totally and they always ask how far is this place this is what we're here to go you know yes so i put a star this is great i love this yeah i do this with all the rentals where you're like it's this far it's this far people are coming for a wedding it's this far i don't know this is not a great photo so i think i need a better photo but i don't know what else to show like this is literally what you see out the window mm -hmm. yep yeah, I'm not crazy about this picture. I don't know if you have better pictures, but I don't know. It's like, I can't tell if it's like good or bad. I know. Like now that I'm looking at this with another person, I'm like, that is what you see. Um, the bridge is brand new. Uh, they just rebuilt the bridge, but you're like. You know what I think you should show instead? 
I think you should find a picture or take a picture of the like Greenway walkway that's I, close by. Okay, it's already so on here. we're getting to that, but okay. maybe it needs to be closer. I need to move it up. Yeah. These are the stairs leading up to the apartment. Uh, clearly, I need to put them earlier. That, that storefront, we built that from scratch. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, like give yourself some props in your description. I'm like, here's the front, whatever. Use it's, this photo. Instead of like, this is what you see out the window. Yeah, I think so. It's not exactly like, it feels more relevant to me than the like, here's the creek. Yeah. <laughs> So that's just down the road. It's kind of like this magical trail. Like it's right outside Beautiful. the door. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. So um, I also, so this is the, I also don't know where to put this. It, maybe it should be earlier, but you know, we don't have like a parking spot. There's just parking all over the place and it's free. So I just wanted people to know like, you can park on the street or park in these lots and it's really close and there's usually spots right in front of our building. Um, say, I, I would say as much as you can in the, in the little description here about that. Okay. Gotcha. Like there's often parking right in front of the building. Here are all of your options. Okay. Gotcha. I don't think you need that close up picture of the front of your building. I feel like you have it in the beginning. That one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I think you're proud of it, but I don't think it gives us more information. Okay. So this one can go, but the other one can stay. Unless you took a picture that was like the gate and the front of the building. That's actually a good idea. Like a wider, cause the gate yep. here on the right so maybe you see the storefront and the gate just just for context you're like it's to the right yeah because these Super all feel clear. sort of like zoomed in in a like way that I'm like. or and then maybe you have another shot that's like the building and then looking down the creek yeah so that it's because it feels a little bit like I don't really know what's happening yeah this feels disjointed mm -hmm. because for us we're like well, this is just where it is. But if you've never been there, you don't understand the perspective of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's a good, that's a really good point. But yeah, so I have a lot to think about. And I think I'm going to retake some photos uh, and just go through each caption. First, I'm going to go through the captions. That needs to happen <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Kitchen. Kitchen. Bedroom one. <laughs> Bedroom two. <laughs> Now, I did do bedroom number one because on the layout, it says bedroom number one. So it's Oh, yeah. No, keep the numbers for yeah. sure. But you have I, so much to offer and you have so much to say. Yeah. So I think I'm going to be a little more clear on those. Like, what are you looking at? Thank you for looking at my place. I hope you enjoyed it. You gave me very good advice. I'm going to go redo my captions now. Also, if other people have comments for Ryan and Jay and their gorgeous downtown apartment, uh, leave them in the comments on YouTube and don't forget to hit subscribe. Boink. We want subscribers. Subscribe. And we would love to see your properties and your listings. So send us your listings at shampooandbooze at gmail.com and we will review your listing on youtube yes we will okay bye bye